Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be diving into putting some Raptor liner on a Peterbilt. Uh, we're going to be doing 7 inches from the bottom of the cab and the sleeper, and yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So what I'm showing here is, as you can see, it's dull around the rivets. And what that is is because I sanded it. And what I use is I use this tool here. I'll put a link in the description below. But what it is is it's little fiberglass strands that actually sand around the rivet. So then we'll run a scotch bright right along the tape line. That is the most common spot that it's going to start peeling back, so you want to try and get it really well. There's box liner actually on the back of the cab that you can only scotch bright it because if you sand it, it's going to take the box liner right off. It'll just hit the high spots and knock it off.
So I'm taking a piece of paper and I'm putting it between the brake drum and the aluminum rim just to eliminate the overspray coming back onto the outside aluminum rim. Then I also put the tape just to make sure. So the back is pretty similar to the front, ripped off a chunk, putting it in between the two rims. And I didn't tape it on the back ones just because you're not really spraying too, too close to there. Like the front you are, you're spraying all the tie rods and stuff like that. But the back, you're pretty safe, so chances are pretty slim. <laughs> As you can see, this is one of my tips and tricks. Way better than the plastic flapping or trying to tie it up the best you can. That way it doesn't get into the paint once you spray it. Another thing we do is we mask the inside of the grill, that way the overspray can't go through the grill and then on the outside of the hood. So one more thing I do is I throw a 5 gallon pail or some blocks on top of the rad, just so when I close the hood it doesn't go down all the way. Because if it was to go down all the way, it just makes a bunch of holes that you gotta reseal up. If you can't see very well, I'm putting tape on the inside of the hood, and then that way it's sealed when the plastic goes up to it. So the reason why I'm putting this paper there is that way when I'm box lining it, I'm not getting it all over the frame because it'll look 
like dirt is in there. Thanks for watching guys. I really thought I could have got this and painting the frame all on one video, but that was not the case. So next video I'm going to be painting the frame and stay tuned for that one. See you then.